So, Jamie, you know what season it is, don't you? Um, football? Yeah. To most people, depends who you ask. Some people will tell you it's marching band season. Once upon a time, there was a magical world called Wonderland that was ruled by the evil Queen of Hearts. Oh, once upon a time, once upon a time. Glenn and I started our day um, at De Destination Adventure at Bueller High School watching their band performance. But I'm going to visit with Mr. Stamba. Stamba. I've heard your name many times um, in visiting with Glenn. And we want to focus on your students, um, the character, everything that goes into a band performance. Because I know from here you get to go to the lower grade level, mm -hmm. so you're building your program there and how does that work for you? Um, well it's really really quite simple it's much like building a culture um, and a family environment and it starts from fifth grade uh, for us as educators especially in music ed is that when we start this process we look at a fifth grader as he or she is a senior um, and developing expectations that they'll not only use within our classroom, but also within when they go out into the community as, as human beings, as parents, as doctors, lawyers, CEOs, teachers, whatever that case may be. Um, and setting them up um, for success as well as sometimes failures and, and, that, and how they react to those. So our team of educators with Mr. Biggs and Mr. Wagner and Ms. Mrs. Kraus is that is that we team teach absolutely everything. So I'm not just a high school band director, I'm also a fifth grade through 12th grade educator. And what that does is it ultimately lets the kids know from ground zero the expectation for when they walk out these doors. Um, and over time, I mean, we have some highs and lows, but in the long run, I feel like our kids come out as better people and human beings. Good rep on that, guys. Not bad rep. Okay, let's do that one more time from the Mad Hatter to the first step into the finale. And go ahead and play the first note except for upper breaths. Keep up the good work, folks. Now, I couldn't help but notice the how you built them the whole practice, the whole time you would build, build them up. You would critique them, and then you would build them up. You would throw in a bunch of positives. You know these kids. You can call out each one of them by name. Mm -hmm. How does that build your band? Well, sure. I mean, it's all about relationships. And I think as educators, that's what we got established from, from the get-go. If, if I don't know the kid's name and I don't know their background or what they're involved in, they're immediately going to turn off. Um, I know, I, I would hope my kids know that uh, no matter what's at stake, I would do absolutely anything for them. Um, and we talk about that daily is um, uh, work hard for not only yourself, but the people that surround you and good things will happen. You used a quote out there this morning. Mm -hmm. Can you revisit that? Yeah, I mean, and I, I've been saying this for last week is you, you, you practice like you never won and you perform like you've always won. And, and so... 
uh, a part of the culture is you got to create within your regiment exactly what you're going to put out at the competition level. If you take times off, if you don't replicate exactly what you're going to do for your competition on Saturday, then you're going to overreact when you're out there and then create things that you've never done before. Um, so you got to establish the principle right from the get go um, and expect that every rep that they do is much like their last rep um, because and we told tell the kids all the time tomorrow's not guaranteed the next rep is not guaranteed life's not guaranteed and that to settle for anything less than your best is setting yourself up for failure one of the other things you said was you have a chance when you realize that you made a mistake how, how do you yeah, encourage sure. them to respond? You know, performers um, are guaranteed at some point in, in the course of a performance to make a slight mistake or a big mistake. And I think what's crucial is how you respond to mistakes. I, we're creatures of habit to be really down on ourselves, but to react quickly and recover and let it go. Um, so many times we, we dwell we constantly dwell about how we're not good enough, especially today. I mean, the mystique of kids are putting so much pressure all the time and they feel like they're never good enough. And it's important that they are good enough and they're able to recover slight mistakes within their life. Because what I witnessed this morning was that you were so powerfully encouraging to them, but yet the caliber of expectation was so high mm -hmm. but you you don't expect absolute perfection every single well you know it's unrealistic right. it's unrealistic sure and so adjusting and making those adjustments and you teach how to make those adjustments well you gotta squeeze the lemon you gotta make lemonade and sometimes you know sometimes with our program we feel like we've hit the ceiling and it's important that we knock that ceiling down and strive for more inches or, or feet in, in our expectation so I mean you know, we're not dumb. We're a very small community, and we get what we put into something. And we put on our pants just like all the big schools in Kansas City or in Oklahoma or in Missouri. And we got to understand that we can achieve the same things if we work hard. And uh, we might lack some talent, but we always strive to work harder than the person that's next to us. So I think um, that's very important. Let's be honest, the resources in our area aren't overly large but we try to put them in situations where even though they might not have the resources that they're able to overcome um, the lack of those resources well because during at the end of the, your, your performance you were pumping the kids up again and well the practice performance and you said we're a thousand and i my brain said mm -hmm. a thousand you're talking about the community of a thousand mm -hmm. and pulling all the resources because you've got kids playing tennis, you've probably got kids playing, mm -hmm. I mean, all sorts of extracurricular activities that necessarily mm -hmm. other districts aren't sure. facing those same things. I mean, you've got kids that are taking part in so many things right. that you have to balance that too. Well, a great student is a balanced student. So I don't want them to be a one trick pony because I want their, the kids as, yes, I would love to have just a group of band kids, but if, if I just have a group of band kids, then that's all we are. Um, Bueller's always been known for stressing the three A's, academics, athletics, and the arts. And the more we encourage those three entities, the better our group is, and the better the sports teams are, and the better our classrooms are. Um, because um, I know that when I walk out with our 160 kids when we go to Kansas City. I'm not only representing the school, but I'm also representing the community, and I take great pride in that. So uh, the kids are aware of that too, is that we've established ourselves that our expectations are very high. Um, and, and knowing those expectations, and our community expects that as, as well. You come to any home football game, nobody at halftime is grabbing a hot dog. Um, they're there for the halftime performance as well because when they pay that seven bucks to get um, uh, into the stadium, they're going to see a great football team. They're going to see a good band. They're going to see great cheerleaders, dance team, and all the entities that go around with it. A culture that is all about Friday Night Lights okay. and also Bueller. That's very important. The community is 
is essential mm -hmm. in your program. Very much so. Our parents are just amazing people. Um, they, they thrive on seeing their kids do something that they never thought their child could do. Um, and, uh, you know, it's kind of a boastful parent. It's good. And, and our parents help out with absolutely everything with travel, um, feeding our kids, helping our kids out with all the equipment out on the field. I mean, all the little things that we take for granted that our parents do all the time at home. Um, so they just, it's an extension within our classroom. Well, I know you're very busy, but I do thank you. Well, for I appreciate you guys us. coming and visiting us. This anytime. is incredible. I'm sure we'll be back. Thank you. There was a sudden hush over all of Wonderland. The spell had been broken. Alice